Hey, what's up? It's Nikki Bra. Today we are going to talk about motivation and discipline. What do you think? What's more important, to be disciplined or to be motivated all the time? I mean, you can be both at the same time, obviously, but there are certain tendencies. Some people rely on motivation, some people rely more on discipline. Imagine there are two identical twins and they both basically go to the gym and want to make progress. One of them relies on motivation, so he needs to watch Ronnie Coleman or Z's videos before he goes to work out. The other guy, he has discipline, he has built a systematic approach and he knows where he's standing and he knows exactly what to do tomorrow and next week. Where do you think is the higher success rate? In my opinion, obviously, the guy who has discipline and has systematic approach. Why? Imagine, the guy who relies on motivation, motivation is highly connected to emotions. So big ups and downs are possible. Maybe you were in a situation like, oh, you don't feel motivated and you don't want to go work out. You don't want to go to study for university or for school. Um, you run a business, but today is really a day where you just have bad mood and low energy. And... When you need to, let's say, to get motivated to do things, you need to watch videos, basically, motivational videos. Big ups and downs are possible. So as you can see, I have bad mood, I don't want to study, I don't want to go to, to the gym and so on and so on. While the guy who has discipline, he does not rely on emotions that much. So he is not basically distracted by a bad mood, he's just sticking to the game plan. So he does not need to watch videos, he does not react that much on emotions and mood status basically. So there's steady step-by-step -step progress. Imagine, uh, some guy wants to quit smoking, okay? And where do you think is the higher success rate? Emotional approach or systematic approach? Emotional approach, the first couple of days, yes, I'm going to quit smoking, yes, I'm motivated, this time I will do this, but like day four, five, six, yes, yes, I'm still on track, everything is all right, but then a day will come where it's really, really hard, bad mood, low energy, maybe I'm going, just one cigarette, you know, it's not that much, it's not going to hurt anything, he relies on emotions, as you can see, big ups and downs are possible. While the other guy, who has a systematic approach that relies on discipline, where he uses technology, let's say, maybe he uses an application where he can track, okay, now is the fifth day, uh, I have saved that much money already, and so on and so on. He relies on discipline rather than watching quit smoking motivational videos where ups and downs are possible. So, as you can see, the discipline systematic approach long term shows way, way, way more progress. So maybe in the first couple of days of your progress, you're hyped when you have this emotional approach, you're hyped, you're motivated. Yes, I'm, I'm going to lose all the fat now, I'm going to build muscle. But after day five or seven, this motivation does not trigger him that much anymore because you get used to these, these levels of, let's say, hype. So long term, if you're this guy who relies on motivational videos, who needs to get hyped to do things, try to avoid this. Try to switch teams and come to team discipline, basically. Because discipline approach, long term, will bring great results. While emotional approach, well, not that much. Because, like I said, big ups and downs are possible. You rely on emotions. So this is not the best approach. Now the question is, how do you build discipline? Because it's not like, okay, I'm going to switch teams. Now I'm team discipline, let's go. Doesn't work like this because you have to build a certain level of discipline. In my opinion, how you can build discipline is using technology. You need to make yourself accountable for your progress. So you need to track things. Let's say you want to go to the gym to lose fat so you, or you want to build muscle, whatever your goal is. You need to track your gym days. 
you need to see, okay, this week I was in the gym five days and I traded this and that. So you need to track things, you need to make yourself accountable, you need to basically to make everything systematic, empirical approach. You need to track data, you need to have statistics, so you can see numbers, so you can analyze these numbers. So this approach, you're basically relying on numbers, while motivational approach, you rely on emotions. Oh, now I'm hyped, I need to go training. While the other approach is like, okay, these are the numbers, these are the numbers I have to improve on, and these numbers are good already. So discipline is highly connected to technology, systematic approach. And this way you can build certain momentum, which leads to a higher level of discipline, where you wake up in the morning and you don't, don't even check what's my hype status, what's my motivational status at the moment. Do I need to watch any videos or whatever? There you will just check your data, your statistics and see, okay, now yesterday I did, let's say, this training day, so today I have to do this training day, and these are the numbers I have to hit today. If I hit these numbers, then the day after tomorrow I have to hit these numbers, and if I don't hit these numbers tomorrow, then this is the way I have to go, basically. So everything is systematic, you know all the paths you have to go in advance, you know where you're standing, you know where you're going, so this is most important. This way you build discipline, you build momentum, so you know exactly what to do the next day, no matter how emotions are, no matter how your hype status is. So if you want to build higher level of discipline, if you want to have a systematic approach, I can teach you. This is the easiest for me because I'm doing this for over 10 years. Okay, so if you need help, we just get in touch, check my page or my social media, you can message me all the time and I will respond to you and maybe I can help you if your team motivational approach, I advise you to switch teams and come to my team, team discipline. We have systematic approach, we have systematic progress, step by step, which only goes up basically. So yeah, remember, don't watch motivational videos, don't watch uh, Z's and Ronnie Coleman. I love Z's and Ronnie Coleman, you know, but if you watch these videos, you rely on emotions, big ups and downs, and then you have good days and you have very bad days. So it's like plus two, minus two, plus three, minus three. Well, systematic approach is like plus one, plus two, minus one, plus three, plus two, minus one, and so on. So systematic approach is the way to go. And if you want to join team discipline, like I said, message me any day and we get in touch and we get going.